Hello everyone, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Welcome to design challenge number 29. And this time we're gonna be doing something we've never done before. Now, most of you are familiar with the random noun logo designs I've done for myself, where I'd use a random noun generator and generate two different random nouns and then try to combine them in a single icon or a logo or symbol of some sort. Well, this time your task is to do the same thing except for yourself. So I want you to use this site. I'm gonna go ahead and link it in the YouTube description. And it's basically just a random noun generator. Go ahead and click on generate random noun and get yourself two different random nouns and then try to combine those in a single unique symbol as if it were for a logo design. And this is great practice for logo design specifically. All right, so make sure you, know, you try to limit yourself. And when you do your submission, when you submit make sure that you include, you know, which two random nouns that you were trying to symbolize. All right. So I'll fast forward to the screen real quick, just so I can go over the more specific rules. All right. Make sure first to subscribe here at YouTube if you haven't yet and check out designcourse.com. All right, so here is the challenge thread and you can find the link in the YouTube description. Uh, and so basically the objective is to visit this link first, which is the random noun generator and choose two and click generate. So what that means is it specifies, you know, how many random nouns do you want and you choose two. And then you simply just click generate. All right, so this one generated message and size. And so the, the objective is to take these two nouns here and try to design a single symbol, perhaps if it were part of like a logo design, like a symbol, something very simple that takes these two ideas and combines them into a single symbol. This is otherwise known as a monogram. All right, so I was to go over the requirements real quick. So symbolize only two nouns, not one or three, but two. Uh, when you submit your entry, specify which two words you were trying to convey. So that's very important. So uh, when you click upload on the image, also in the, the thread post or through a reply, specify which two words. Um, do, do not use any type in your design, no letters or numbers. Keep it simple and avoid unnecessary visual aesthetics like blurs, gradients, bevels. Please do not submit that. Flat design is usually best for logo design. And then make it big enough so that I can see it, but also use good white space. So, you know, if you have, if your document's like this big, like right here, this white portion, don't make it so that, you know, the symbol is touching this edge and this edge, you know, just scale it down good enough, but not too small. All right. So submission deadline is always going to be this next coming Sunday, July 5th and 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, I created a couple of these videos where I put myself on the spot uh, on my channel and you could check that out just to get an idea you know, of what I did or how I approached the situation basically. Um, and so you could check those videos out, of course. So yeah, looking forward to the submissions. I uh, go ahead and subscribe here at YouTube if you haven't yet and check out designcourse.com. Also earlier today, I released a video uh, at designcoder.io and this is a 100% free iOS and Android course and so it's going to show you how to design this fictional app which happens to be uh, a speech countdown timer um and i the initial uh videos right here are where i show you how to design everything and then my partner vivs of slidenerd.com who also has a similar channel channel of sim similar size on youtube uh takes you through first android app development if you want to learn android and building that app or iOS as well. So we're pretty much one of the only courses I think does that. And it's 100% free. All right, so check that out. I'm looking forward to this submission. Sorry, goodbye.